To draw strokes, just hold down your left mouse button and draw. To clear all the strokes, click on the cancel button. You can also erase your last stroke by drawing a straight line to the left. To select buttons, you can also draw a line across them. This is called crossing. ShapeShop will try to automatically create a closed contour out of your strokes. For example, it will smoothly close most 2D strokes. The transparent blue line is what you drew, and the dotted black line is the curve that ShapeShop generated. You can also draw a few disconnected strokes, and ShapeShop will try to automatically connect them. There are some stroke editing gestures. To erase parts of the strokes you have drawn, just scribble across them. The blue line will disappear, and ShapeShop will try to smoothly fill the gap. You can also smooth the curve by circling the region you want to smooth. You have to circle it a few times. You can smooth as many times as you want. Smoothing can also be used to fix strokes that overlap. As you draw, ShapeShop will give you a list of things it can do with your strokes. The options appear in the expectation list at the bottom of the screen. The blobby inflation button creates a 3D shape. To manipulate the camera, drag on the buttons in the view toolbar. You can zoom, pan, rotate, or select one of the standard views. To access the other standard views, click and drag downwards on the black arrow. Then pick the view you want, or close the list by dragging upwards on the black arrow. To select objects, just click on them. Selected objects will be highlighted yellow. Some objects have parameters which show up in the parameter bar on the left. To edit the parameter, click and drag on the button. Dragging up or right will increase the parameter, and dragging down or left will decrease it. Here we are changing the width and radius of the shape. To erase an object, just scribble on it while it's selected. You can sketch three types of shapes in ShapeShop. First, there's the blobby inflation, which creates a rounded, blobby 3D shape. Then there's a linear sweep. Linear sweeps have flat end caps. Finally, there's a revolution. Note that when you draw the curve for a revolution, only the part on the right side is used. You can also draw shapes with holes. To draw holes, you have to draw in the opposite direction. So if your outer stroke was clockwise, your inner strokes have to be drawn counterclockwise. To blend a new blobby shape to the current model, draw a curve that starts in the model, goes off it, and goes back onto it. Then select the blend icon. The blended shape is a separate object, and can still be resized and transformed interactively. The amount of blending can also be controlled using the blend strength parameter. To increase the surface resolution, drag on the resolution button. Note that the system responds more slowly at higher resolutions. You can cut holes in the surface using the cut icon. You can also cut from the edge by drawing a curve which starts off the surface, goes onto it, and goes off again. Holes can be selected by clicking inside them. Holes are separate objects too, and can be manipulated just like blends. ShapeShop objects can be moved using the translation tool. Dragging on the spheres moves the objects along the axes. Dragging in the center moves the object in the screen plane. To cycle between tools, click the Tool button. The Rotate tool can be used to rotate along the axes, as well as to freely tumble the object. To blend two separate objects, drag a line starting on one and ending on the other. Then select the Blend icon.
Blended objects can be manipulated independently. Erasing a blended object restores the original surface. Holes can also be manipulated independently. Because holes are independent objects, erasing a hole also restores the original surface. Shape shop objects are grouped together in the model tree. The two blobby objects in this example are grouped together in a blend node. The blend node and blobby objects can be selected in the model tree view. The tree can be edited by dragging and dropping the nodes. Here we remove one of the blobby objects from the blend node.